guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we are talking about how to bring your pigs here to Dominican Republic. And this is a subject that I have received questions for a way long time. Yeah, I have never put anything out because I don't have any pigs. <laughs> and that was something that I didn't have anymore. I mean, I didn't have that much information about it. You know, when you're moving abroad or a in this case of Prada, and also my country, where, where I am from. But if I don't have any pay that I need to bring back from the state or anything, that is something that I haven't ever done. And most of the time I talk in my videos is my own experience and thing that I have done like when I brought my car. This is something that I never did before, but I know that a lot of my followers always have a question about pets because they have a pet they are thinking to move. And also, here, a lot of, uh, here in Dominican Republic, a lot of people have pigs and love pigs. So I say, okay, let me do a video about it. And the first thing that we are going to discuss or talk about is how to bring your pigs if you are traveling or moving to Dominican Republic. So let's get started. Now that you have decided to bring your pig to the Dominican Republic, is there a criteria that you must follow by the Dominican Republic government to bring your pigs into Dominican Republic? The first thing is your pet must have a signed health certificate by a registered veterinarian no later than 14 days prior to your departure time. So the certificate must contain that the pet is in excellent condition. It also needs to show your names, address, and the pet's information, such as pet's name, breed, sex, color, and age. The certificate needs also to show that your pets have been vaccinated against rabies at least 30 days and no later than 12 months prior to your travel date. And besides that you need a certificate by a registered veterinarian 14 days prior, you also need a veterinarian, registered veterinarian, you check your pet 72 hours prior your travel date. Basically, if your pet is found with any contagious disorder, it can be quarantined here in the Dominican Republic for at least 30 days. Even though the Dominican Republic government don't require your pet to be microchipped, it's also suggested that your pet be microchipped with your information just in case your pet gets separated from you or lost. And in the case that your pet is not microchipped, make sure you have a tag with your information in case that this is happening. Puppies and kittens are not permitted to enter the country unless they are vaccinated, especially against rabies. So now that you met all the requirements for your pet to enter the country, what do you do when you arrive to the Dominican Republic? So the first thing that you do when you arrive to the country is ask for an animal control person, which we call here Sanidad Animal. This person will check the certificate that you received by your veterinarian and also complete a form for your pet entry for a cost of $10. So now you are asking, what airline should I use to travel with my pet? And before that, you need to check the airline that you're thinking of travel prior you buy your ticket because it's an airline they don't accept for you to travel with pets. And also, it's other airlines that don't accept pay depending on the season of the year because either it's too hot or too cold to travel with certain pets. So that is one way you need to check it before you buy your ticket with the airline that you are traveling. So I know that you are asking yourself beside cats and dogs, is there another animal that I can meet to the Dominican Republic? And the answer is yes. You can bring um, exotic fish, birds, and rabbits. And also, if you will have another animal that you're going to bring, you probably need to do a little bit more investigation because those are the ones that are more um, common, you will say, and that they are out to bring. Now, if you have a specific historic animal or pet that you would like to bring, that's something that you need to check uh, with the Dominican Republic government to see if the animal is allowed to come to travel to the country. So now that you have your pet safe here in the Dominican Republic and your pet is already at home and you are very happy with your pet, now you are asking yourself, hmm, now I need a where to buy some food. And that I'm gonna talk about, but I'm gonna mention some places that are here in Santo Domingo because this is the city where I live. If you are moving to or you are visiting another town here, you probably wanna check online what places you can go and buy food. And we're gonna start with Pay supermarket where you can buy some food. And I'm gonna mention a few places uh, for you to go. So we have Fed World, which is located in Los Rios. Then we have Arca, Pet Shop in Churchill, which is in Piantini. And then we have My Dog RD, which is in Los Prados. 
So now that you find a store for you pay, or for you find a few store for you pay, now you want to know a hospital that you can take it if something happened. And I'm going to mention at least three hospitals that you can take your pay. So we have Pet Clinic, which is in Evaristo Morales, Animal Clinic Hospital, Veterinario, which is in Naco, and Animate Hotel Clinic Veterinary, which is also in Naco. So now that we know some stores and clinics where we can take our breaks, so now at, what about hotel? If I need to go travel or go on a vacation, where I can take my dog? So I'm going to mention a few places that you can take your pay if you have to travel. So Huellitas, where you can find it here in Santo Domingo, Pate Mansion, we can find it in Los Praditos, and a Smart Talk Center, which is in Proyecto 27. So I mentioned a few places if you need to take your pet, do some shopping, clinics if they get sick, and also a hotel if you need to go on vacation or you are traveling. If that is here in Santo Domingo, but besides the places that I mentioned, it's way many places over here. I just mentioned a few places that I found. And if you are moving or visiting another town here in the Dominican Republic, well, you will have to check on the information because I just checked here in Santo Domingo. But here is, when I was looking for that information, I saw in many areas where they have all this information. So I hope this is been helpful for the people that are asking me about pigs and pigs information. And this is all what happened right now. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also share. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!